It will have blood. Blood will have blood. When you die, Stuart, then you are a man. I go. And it is done. A little water clears us of this deed. How we see it then? We will proceed no further in this business. Her name was Artemisia Gentileschi. A brilliant and mercurial painter. A charismatic trickster. A gifted businesswoman. A caring mother with a turbulent love life. And a modern woman in a patriarchal world. She's been sidelined for centuries. Now she's emerging from the shadows as one of the most exciting Baroque artists. Despite much of her work being lost or missing, and many details of her extraordinary story forgotten, there remain new and surprising discoveries to be made. Geneva. HR equals open brackets SU squared two to the power of L slash SU two to the power of N. Close bracket. Correct.
Nestling among these official masterpieces is a breathtaking painting not even mentioned in the museum's highlights, even though it was created by someone quite exceptional in the history of art. This is one of the most arresting paintings I've ever seen. It's a moment of traumatic violence captured with almost forensic intensity in the detail here. What is happening is that a woman... Orazio organized for her private art lessons with his friend Agostino Tassi. What happened next is recorded forever in history, although the exact facts are still hard to determine. Artemisia claimed that one spring afternoon in 1611, Tassi accosted her in her father's studio, followed her upstairs, and despite her pleas to be left alone, pushed her into the bedroom and raped her. 